welcome back to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. This is Rantry, and as you can see right here, we've got the Eye of the Tiger Shark update. So we will be starting a brand new game with the new character. Yes, I haven't done adventure mode yet. I don't have Wes or Maxwell. I would want to do adventure mode soon. But here's a new character, Warly. The chef, Bon Appetit, has distinguished tastes, cooks in custom cookware, and has a stylish chef pouch. So I'm assuming that the distinguished tastes mean he's kind of like Wickerbottom. He doesn't want to eat gross stuff, or gross stuff won't help him that much. Also, if you listen, the music is different. It's changed. So let's go ahead and start a brand new world with Warly. All right, so here we are with Warly. He's got his chef's pouch. It looks like a chef's hat, but it actually, eh, that's, that's not great. I could just make a thatch pack and get the exact same functionality, but I guess it's, I guess it's okay that he starts out with it. So uh, again, we are going to start off with uh, our, our base building kind of phase in mind. Of course, we're gonna get all the grass that we can and twigs. Uh, also look for flint and uh, start trying to make a raft. Uh, we don't have to get off the island immediately, but the sooner we can start exploring, the better. Gonna pick all the food that we can. Uh, just pretty typical start. Uh, Worley's just gonna have a little bit more. Oh, and I didn't even, I didn't even. Portable crock pot. Oh man. He just got a crock pot right off the bat and you can take it with you? Wow, that might be that might be a game changer. Cause in my last playthrough as Walani, oh yeah, we want to pick flowers to get our garland underway. And also the reason that I'm picking all the seashells, as I'm sure you all know, uh, might as well pick up rock. I can discard it later if I don't need it. Uh, is because I am gonna need seashell armor at some point when I make a uh, science machine. So my general start is to just kind of run around the starting island, get, you know, hoard grass and sticks, and make a, try and get enough flint to make a bamboo raft, and then get off of the island. Uh, also picking up enough flowers to make a garland, and anything... Wait, this isn't where we spawned. Oh yeah, in the patch notes it said there'd be new, uh, new treasure... Uh, or crates, crates that wash up on shore with just, I guess, random things in them. So I've almost got enough, uh, no, I don't. I need two more for a machete, two more flint, that is. But yeah, they're gonna have random kind of crates just washed up on the shore. Also, new treasure, of course, the tiger shark is new, a new boss. And I may or may not have released my very last episode with Walani at this point, but... If I haven't, you will see how uh, how she met her untimely demise, or perhaps timely demise. Uh, I was planning on killing her anyways. Uh, let's see, that's actually picked one too many. We only need 12 for a garland. So I'll clear up that inventory. And yeah, we'll just, we'll just explore the island. But uh, this time, I think I'm going to focus on, if I do come across a swamp, I'm gonna make sure to get uh, let's see, we need we uh, reeds, at least enough for a bird cage. For a bird cage, I believe you need two papyrus. Uh, and the papyrus are four reeds apiece. I know I missed a flint up there. Um, and and six gold. So I'm gonna need more gold than a normal start or than I have uh, in the past, at least with shipwrecked. And I'm going to, when I do come across a swamp, I am going to um, go ahead and try and harvest at least eight reeds. I need eight reeds for a birdcage. And I guess I'm just too busy talking and passing up resources here right and left. So, uh, yeah. Much like I started doing in the other series, I will be editing out all of the semi 
you know, boring parts. We've got enough right now to go ahead and make our machete. Uh, I was getting ready to say, I'll edit out all the boring parts, but we need to go ahead and get our raft underway. Four bamboo and three vines. Uh, I don't want to chop down the vines that, uh, the or the bushes that shake because they're snake spawns. And just on the off chance that I ever needed monster meat or wanted to come back to this particular island for snake skin, I don't want to destroy, although I guess they regrow, but when they regrow, I'm not sure that they stay snake spawns, uh, being the shaky vines. So I generally, just as a, as kind of a rule, don't chop those down. Um, but while I have this machete, I'm gonna go ahead and just hoard bamboo. And sometime middle of the day tomorrow, I hope to be setting off of this island. And then we'll just explore until we get gold, build a science machine, uh, just right wherever we find the first gold, make a backpack, make a spear, make uh, probably a shovel, and, uh, and work on a boat. Or I may I may wait on the boat. I'm not sure. I may I may go ahead and try and make a simple rowboat and a sail early on just to speed up exploring. I believe I can do that with a regular old um, science machine and don't need an alchemy engine. I don't need any more flowers. Um, black completely lacking. Oh, listen to his voice. Can I inspect things? Not a single grape on it. Ah, uh, grapevine. Anyways, he's got the voice of uh, one of those uh, steel drums, which is nice. He must be from the Caribbean somewhere. Trinidad, Tobago, something like that. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna collect up resources, make a boat, and then start exploring. I'm still on my original island. I just ran around and picked stuff all night with a uh, with a torch in hand. But I did want to go ahead and I built a pickaxe, built an axe, uh, you know, cut some, cut down a tree. I'm gonna probably stick around and cut down a few more trees. Just get my resources up and running. And but I did want to mine enough rocks to real quick build a hammer and check out what. What this uh, what this crate is is all about? Okay, just just boards, not not much there. But uh, I'm still exploring a little bit, um, and gonna go hammer my original starting shipwreck to get my boat repair kit. Although really running a little low on resources but there are some things I can kind of throw down that I don't particularly need and let's see where was that right here or is this was this it or was this just just gonna be more boards okay cloth and another board I mean I guess I could make a chest out of those boards if I had a science machine where's my shipwreck uh, anyways I'm gonna chop down this Let's chop down, where's my axe? Chop down this palm tree, just cause it's got coconuts on it. And then, let's see. I am gonna try out, let's, let's look at his health and sanity and hunger as I eat these seeds. Lacking in every way. Okay, just a little bit of health, not much. Uh, so I don't know if he needs to, if he has to have, if he has to eat recipes to get the full benefit of things um, let's see we can make well we can make a meatballs I believe and we'll just leave that there to cook does it I'm sure it shows up on my map yes it does and let's see I'll just chop some trees get get a full stack of logs see if there's any other food items in here I just like using the new stuff and I want to cook oh there's also new crafting recipes uh, you can make I think I think you have to have the uh, the eyeball or or something of the tiger shark but you can make a super periscope or tell us periscope a super spyglass that will allow you to see much further distances and also now you can finally craft the dumbrella I don't know what you need to craft it um, oh snake bite me snake Looking at stuff to craft. We can drop these pine cones. Not gonna need those. 
Yeah, you can craft the Dumbrella. Probably won't show up here yet. We need a, we need something. We need a alchemy engine. I, I'm assuming an alchemy engine because I think it's kind of a late game item. But anyways, yeah, just just continuing on to gather resources on this island. Uh, we do have enough to make our our raft now. However, I am just gonna go ahead and get a full stack of all the basic resources. Well, I can't get twigs because uh, there aren't a whole bunch of twigs on this island. But I'll chop down this tree and that'll give us almost a full stack of logs at 19. Oh, come on, snake. I see those uh, doubloons up there. Always good to carry some doubloons around. Uh, we can combine stacks there. Run back up to my crock pot. I'm keeping the snake skin for now because it's pretty useful and who knows sometimes I oh I've I've spun the I've spun the world. Oh here this is what we were looking for anyways. The old the old uh Okay, well that's a full stack of logs. The old debris. There's our boat repair kit and you know what? We can just we can drop these boards off. Actually, we're getting ready to cook up some more stuff, so but, yeah, man, he, he just starts off with a, with a crock pot. That's actually really useful. And can we go ahead and make one more meatball? And now we have enough to go ahead and pick up our boards just because. Why not? Uh, but when I start mining rocks and different things, I'm going to have way too many you know way too many slots full and let's see do we can we make anything else all I've got is a limpet and an egg to my name so yeah it's getting dark it's getting on to be nighttime and I don't particularly want to go paddling off oh we need to be able to uh, we need to be able to here let's what do I what do I want to do I can't just cook a few things in the crock pot. I wonder if I can put that in there. Close it. No, I can't. I can't pick it up with food in there. That would be that would be too convenient. Uh, so we'll just eat the egg, and then we can pick up our crock pot. There we go. And yeah, just gonna kind of wait for daytime. And as day arrives, we've built our raft. We'll plant it down and jump on it, and we'll head out. We'll go ahead and head out south. Um, wait a second. I don't need... Yeah, I need a science machine. Those boards... These boards may be a... Uh, if I can just find a piece of gold, they may be free... Um, that may be a free uh, boat. And here we have another island almost directly east of our first island so we'll just go ahead and explore this some berries right off the bat that's great and well let's see do I want to drop anything or do I want to not drop anything uh, the doubloons well if I get three I can refine them into gold uh, you know what I'll just eat them now it's, it's kind of interesting having the crock pot this soon because you're like well I don't want to just eat a blank berry a blank <laughs> a plain berry when I could save it and make you know something in the crock pot with it okay this looks like it may be a monkey island I know there's at least two monkey huts here I know that because I just saw one and then that monkey there came up from the south so he must be he must have come from a different hut so just gonna explore this island and gather, continue gathering resources. You know the drill. And here we have a cr another crate washed up. Let's see if it's just boards. Oh, an empty bottle and boards. Well, we've already got a place for boards, but don't think I need the empty bottle right now. That's kind of interesting that uh, you know they just they just crates washed up with little 
little trinkets inside. So far it doesn't look like they're gonna have anything spectacular inside, but it may, uh, that may change as I kind of progress in terms of, they may not want to give you really great stuff within the first few days. Um, so yeah, just continuing to kind of go around, unlock this map, and get twigs and whatnot. All right, it is day four. I went ahead and edged this map. No gold rocks, although I feel like in my memory I walked past one of these and it was a gold rock. But I don't think gold rocks kind of... I don't think they really spawn on, um, on beaches. So basically, actually, I think I'm going to head up north. And you know what I get? I just did? You see that? I made myself a little snack. Actually, I made uh, two meatballs and ate one of them. But since I'm not used to having a portable crock pot, of course, I left it. So I'm glad I saw that before I just went careening off into the wild blue yonder like a madman without a crock pot, as one is wont to do. So, yeah, continuing on, looking for new islands. And here's one right here. At least, can no, they don't connect. But, I just want to see how, yep, they are very close. Oh, and we do have, we do have a, a mangrove. It looks like a, well, it, might, it may or may not be small. Is this just a grassland and mango? Mango. Mangrove? Island all in and of itself. No, there is there is some There's some jungle here as well So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut through here up to the north. I'm not gonna edge the whole map in my boat because uh, You know the dirt. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what we want to see gold go weld We've already got our pickaxe in hand and everything. I don't see any monkeys in sight to bother us too badly. All right, immediately, science machinery. Bada bing. All right, so now what can we craft up? Well, first things last. Actually, first things first, because what what do we need for a backpack? Where's our, where's, there we go. All right, and buy chef's hat. I mean, that's kind of a waste. I wonder if it does anything. Does it, you know, keep things fresh or if it's just basically a thatch pack, which is an item you can make on the first day, it's really a pretty lame, whoops. That's really a pretty lame little bonus for this character. Compared to people like, you know, Wickerbottom and uh, anyways, let's see. We're going to go ahead and prototype ourselves rope. And with our rope, we can make a spear. And let's see, what else do we need? We could do a, uh, let's see. I have one seaweed and to make my seashell suit, I need two. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and then, oh, I do still have my boards. I can, I can make, I should be able to make. Oh, I need four vines. Let's see, I've got quite a few. Yeah, let's go ahead and make another machete. And we'll just go harvest up some vines, and then we can make a boat, and a sail, and all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be great. So there are our vines. And bada bing, there's our boat. Let's see, what do we need for a sail? Okay, we can make a thatch sail. Oh, uh, thatch sail's the only thing we can make with... with let's see, four... That seems like... Mm, I'd have to chop down four trees. And maybe I'll do that anyways. Um, but I believe that for right now, oh, we need to go ahead and prototype our uh, our shovel. Where's our shovel? There we go. All right, that should be most of what we need for now. So I'm gonna leave that up and come back around to it. Uh, but I am just gonna go ahead and, and uh, edge this map. And we did find another gold rock. I'm gonna eat these meatballs up, just so I have a place to store some stuff. Oh, don't need those flowers. I picked a bunch of flowers for no reason. Uh, but it doesn't hurt you, there's no downside. Uh, so let's see, what are, we, what are we looking at here? We've got jungle here, with four monkeys, uh, jungle here, so 
trees, bamboo, and vines are taking care of. Lots of grass, which is good. Uh, not a whole lot of sticks, but we could bring sticks over from here. Uh, so I'm not going to set up base here, but it wouldn't be the worst place in the world to do that, I suppose. Uh, I do want to go ahead and make my, uh, my seashell suit. So I'm going to go grab one more seaweed. I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab the other one while I'm here. All right. And Warly. Warly, Warly, Warly. Is about to get his first new suit. So we go to fight. Oh, don't tell me any alchemy engine for it. I bet I do. I always fail to look at that. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Oh, no. I just need a... Duh. I just need a rope. There we go. There we go. Alright. So, that's all great. That's all grand. Let's see, do I need anything else right now? I'm just debating on whether or not it's time to hammer this thing down. Backpack, shovel... Seashell suit. Yeah, that's really all we need. And, yeah, I guess the chef's pouch is just gonna have to stay there. And, let's see. Our starting island was here. I usually kind of like to try and make a ring around it, so let's just go up here. Put down our... Oh, there's a poisonous snake. I don't really want to take... Or actually, you know what? I might as well, just in case... Well... Nah, I don't, even if he gives me poison gland, I don't want to, I can't mess with it right now. So, build our rowboat. And we're off again, like a herd of one-legged turtles. I feel like I'm right on the cusp of a new island. Oh, I was. It's right over here. Saw it on my map. All right, we got a new island, so I set off from here and just sailed up around there. I didn't keep going this way because it looked deep. But now I'm seeing, I think that's just one of the kind of crests of a wave. All right, new island. We'll edge it. Well, that island didn't hold much interest for us. Uh, just, uh, you know, typical kind of a bee. Some limpets, some berries, and all that jazz. So just ran around, put the crock pot down, and made a few... Meatballs at night? Uh, let's see. I think I'd rather have the stack of uh, seaweed because I know I'm going to be getting more of it instead of hang on to that one berry. And yeah, we'll just continue exploring. Oh! Apparently there's a message in a bottle here. Oh, come on. I don't need to eat anything. Can I drop something that's useless? Uh, let's see, one board. Yeah, that's fine, I can drop that. Alright, read. Alright, there's the X, way up north. And so, uh, we may, we may head north. We may head north, at least after a while. Uh, I'm gonna drop off the bottle, pick up the board. I don't really know why, but the board just seems a little more useful to me right now. Anyways, we're continuing exploring with Warly here in the Eye of the Tiger Shark update. I'm Rantry, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.